is Kenny Lee Burgess and welcome to Lesson 1, How Do You Play Cigar Box Guitar. The song that you heard in the beginning of this video is an old English drinking song called Show Me The Way To Go Home. It was popularized by the movie Jaws. We'll be learning that song later on in these lessons. Now the idea of these lessons are to teach anyone who's interested in playing cigar box guitar basic music theory and techniques. So you should realize that if you're new to playing a string instrument, although you might understand this information with your mind, it might take hours of repetitive practice to get your fingers to do what you want them to do. First, let's talk about the instrument that we're going to use in these lessons. Now there is no standard cigar box guitar in regards to how many strings or even how it's tuned. But in these lessons we're going to be using a fretted instrument. It is possible to make these instruments without frets, but personally I prefer frets because it allows me to utilize the knowledge that I've gained from playing a standard six string guitar. Now you could have one string, and that's called a diddly bow. Or you can have two or three strings. This one has three strings. Next would be four strings. Now right there you're already getting into a standard instrument because ukuleles, mandolins, tenor guitars, plectrum banjos, and a whole host of instruments from the Middle East have four strings. So what this means is you can utilize the knowledge that you gain from playing a four string cigar box guitar, take that different instrument, restring it, retune it, and still get the unique sound characteristics of that instrument. The next would be five strings. So if you took the fifth string and made it a higher pitched string, then you'd have a banjo. Which is interesting because standard bluegrass banjo is played in open G tuning, which is very similar to what we'll be doing. And then finally you have six strings, which would be a standard guitar. Now you might ask, how are we going to tune this instrument, or what gauge strings are we going to use on it? Now I would encourage you, if you're going to build or buy a cigar box guitar, to get a four string fretted instrument. And the reason for this is, is because if you take one string off, you can have a three string, and if you put the fourth string on, then you can utilize the advantages of having four strings. So over the course of these lessons, that's what we're going to utilize is three and four string instruments. Now we're going to start by using a three string instrument, and we're going to tune it using a standard medium gauge pack of strings. We're going to utilize strings five, four, and three. That would be the A, D, and G string. But we're going to put them on, and then we'll tune it from low to high. We'll tune it G, D, G. Now, I guess you're wondering, should I build or should I buy? If you're planning on building, I'll post some resources on the end of this video. Check them out. I think these people will be able to help you build a cigar box guitar. And please don't direct your questions about building to me, because even though I had a hand in building this cigar box guitar, my friend Bill was the real mastermind. Now, if you're planning on buying, I would uh, encourage you to check out my friend Darren at Back Porch Mojo. He builds really nice cigar box guitars. In addition, he now has available a four-string real resonator cigar box guitar. And you might have saw me play that in the uh, Muddy Waters video, Catfish Blues. Presently, these lessons are completely free. And I'll keep them posted here on YouTube throughout the duration of the series. If you'd like to encourage the continuation and support my efforts, please consider purchasing one of my CDs. There's my music CD, Good and Evil. It took three years to produce, and it was professionally recorded at Supreme Sound Studios. And I still have 600 more of these to sell. Or there's my instructional CDs on bottleneck slide guitar. Series 1 contains cigar box guitar lessons, and although it was produced for a six-string guitar, Throughout the course of this lesson, you'll see that these ideas are completely applicable to a three or four string cigar box guitar. Also, if you're kind enough to purchase one of my CDs and you're a dealer, possibly you make cigar box guitars or bottleneck slides, and would like your contact information to appear on one of my upcoming videos, I'd be glad to include that. Also, if you have a website that has information that might interest viewers of these lessons, I could put you on the resource pages. Please just leave a note when you purchase the CD. Now certainly you could play a cigar box guitar just like a standard guitar, but I also like to use a bottleneck slide. But I won't be reteaching that information. It's already contained on the Series 1 CD. Also, it's not necessary to wear a thumb pick and two finger picks, but like you'll see in the upcoming clip, the tone and the volume that you get is really worth it. And also, because it protects your fingers, you're really able to dig into the guitar and do nice rolls.
But just some final thoughts. Over the years here on YouTube, I've made a lot of nice friends while teaching bottleneck slide and posting music videos, so I'm certainly interested in hearing your comments and constructive criticism. Also, because I'm trying to build these lessons off the Series 1 CD and not reteach a lot of material, I'm assuming you know how to create a major scale, a pentatonic blues scale, and have some basic music theory. So actually, we're going to start these lessons with a review of double stops.